Friends, I welcome you on Baiju's exam prep, India's most comprehensive preparation platform for all the engineers. All the candidates who are joining me live, just, just quickly confirm your presence in the comment section and uh, tell me whether my audio, visual quality, everything is clear so that we can start with the session. First of all, I seriously apologize for the delay. There was some technical glitch and uh, my team was uh, constantly working on that and that is why we got little delayed around 10 minutes so extremely uh, sorry and serious apologies for that I understand the importance of your time but friends uh, this session is a must session for all of you because this session I am going to discuss most frequently asked vocabulary words especially in gate examination okay so definitely it is going to help you in other examinations as well and uh, it's going to be with you for beyond the exam also because it's something which is uh, going to help you to build your confidence and command. <coughs> my voice is clear. If you want, I can show you. In my mobile, it is perfect. It is perfect. Now somebody is asking what is the duration of this session. So let me just brief you. See my effort will be that. Uh, my effort will be that. Not more than two hours we should give. Okay. But if you are interested. Because maybe some words are remaining. Don't worry. Don't worry. If you have a strong vocabulary, whether it is antonyms, whether it is synonyms, and where it is similar words or whatsoever, okay, it's going to be easy for you. Okay, Rashi is saying he has to give mock test. That is why I have to finish before too. Let me try. Okay, even if you are not able uh, to watch it live, you can watch it in the recorded form. So everybody just tell me once in the comment section, are you ready for this session or not? Are you ready for the session? Have you make up your mind that this session I am going to learn complete vocabulary? Because there are some prerequisite, something which is important you must have before you start this session. I want all of you to make a short note because even though I will be discussing a lot of vocabulary words today, but some words I will be giving you which are very important. So those words, either you can write in a separate note or if you want, then you can make, a, if you have a separate mobile or some device, then you can make a separate note of that on the soft form also. But you must do this exercise because you should not uh, waste this time just by watching the vocabulary terms. So whatever important terms I'm going to tell you, I'm going to explain to you. You just keep a short note of that and whenever you want to build your vocabulary, you want to get confidence in terms of vocabulary words in English language. You just revise it. So everybody is having a notebook. A small notebook. A small notebook, pen or something you must be having with you. Yes, everybody. So without wasting much time, let's start. Some of you may be joining me for the first time. So there is a brief introduction about myself. My name is Ashutosh. As you can see on the screen, I have 11 plus years of teaching experience. And this is my brief profile. See, this session is common for all the branches. Okay. Okay, I will try to make it a little more louder. <clears throat> Let me just check that everything is correct from my side because in my mobile it's coming okay. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. Okay, use a good quality earphone. Okay. You spend a lot of money here and there. Why not buy a good earphone? Now today itself, 31st of January, 7.30 p.m. in the evening, one of the legendary faculty, Sanjay Rathi sir, 20 plus years of teaching experience in electronics branch and electrical, he is going to conduct a workshop on perfect strategy to ace gate 2024 so if any one of your colleague junior or you yourself interested you have to register yourself and attend this 
workshop which is important one of the most awaited session for gate 2023 by use exam prep is bringing you the live exam analysis on 4th and 5th of february 1 pm and 6 pm in the evening so subscribe to by use exam prep for all these important so everybody just uh, before we start the session okay before we start the session uh let me make it very clear for you that how we are going to approach this particular session i am trying to include most of the words okay which are important but you say you understand there are infinite words so we cannot cover infinite words here so before we start everybody just uh, understand the limitation in terms of time and space and we have to restrict ourselves to the important ones so it's not something randomly i am bringing the words these are the words which are generally most frequently asked in various examination like gate and other important examinations so one last time before we start everybody just quickly hit the like button and share this session in all the social media platforms you are connected so that more and more people are going to be benefited with this so everybody ready for the session shall we start so the first word that we are going to discuss is abdicate abdicate means to give up to give up a position a right or power can i use a little bit hindi also how many hindi guys in the session it's not that i am teaching english in hindi just uh, if i give you little more examples in hindi it will be beneficial for you and you will remember it in a more comfortable manner little bit of hindi also okay so abdicate means to give up and it is a it is a formal word because you can say leave also yes or no to leave a position but leave a position is informal abdicate abdicate means to give up a position authority right or power and it is formal it's formal in nature is it clear now the difference between abdicate and resignation see resignation is when you are in an employment yes or no resignation is when you are in employment abdicate means you are in a position of power or authority which is not doing a job particularly maybe you are in public service maybe you are in politic your politics you are maybe you are in a political power so that is how you can understand the difference between abdicate and resignation but people are using interchangeably log mix karke use kar lete hain but abdicate ko aap kaise relate karoge ki jab aap kisi position of power ya authority mein especially aap public life mein ho aap political power mein ho usko jab aap give up karte ho to wahan par hum word use karte hain abdicate is it clear so don't confuse it with resignation resignation is more of when you resign from a job abdicate is not about giving up a job abdicate means to give up a position authority right power second word is aberrant aberrant is important something for your notebook whenever i say something for your notebook you have to note it down aberrant means deviant behavior deviant behavior for example you are coming to the class and what are my expectation my expectation is that you will sit with discipline in the class you will follow the instructions given by me but suddenly you start jumping on your chair you stand up on the chair and you are throwing uh, your papers so this is aberrant behavior something which is not expected out of you are you getting this now how to remember this whenever somebody your sibling cousin brother sister friend somebody is doing something which is not normal which is a deviation from the normal expected uh, behavior then you say this is an aberrant behavior are you getting something in your mind aberrant deviation from normal next word is abjure abjure means to reject or abandon formally 
एब्जोर कहां पर यूज करेंगे जैसे कि किसी को आपने पावर देना चाहा जैसे एक पिता के दो पुत्र थे ठीक है अ फादर हैज टू सन एंड फादर इज अ किंग एंड ही वांट्स टू गिव पावर टू द एल्डर सन नाउ एल्डर सन हैज एब्जोर्ड द पावर रिजेक्टेड लेना ही नहीं है आर यू गेटिंग दिस एंड इट इज फॉर्मल एबेंडन एबेंडन आल्सो मींस टू गिव अप एबेंडन आल्सो मींस टू गिव अप फॉर्मली पब्लिकली अनाउंसमेंट के साथ बोला कि भैया मैं नहीं करता to abjure is it clear <coughs> so next time your father is giving you pocket money you can abjure it you can abandon it formally say yes or no and this was also important may come in various examinations abscond abscond means to depart secretly generally it is used when a culprit is going to set himself or herself free from a prison abscond bhag gaya sort of are getting so absconding basically you are using for culprits absconding from prison absconding from prison जेल तोड़ के भाग गया डिपार्ट सीक्रेटली एफ्सकॉन्ड दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट एफ्टीमीशियस एफ्टीमीस ओके एफ्टीमीस मींस मॉडरेट इन एपेटाइट सो एवरीबडी इज गोइंग टू हैव वन पर्सन इन द फैमिली हु ईट वेरी लेस सो स्टार्ट कॉलिंग हिम और हर एफ्टीमीस एफ्टीमीस मींस what is the normal diet the normal diet is two rotis little bit of vegetable one bowl of uh, dal you can say little bit of rice and something else now somebody who is abstemious he is going to eat only one roti mm, very one or two spoon rice no sweet so somebody who is abstemious he is not that fond of eating He is very moderate in appetite. बस जिंदा रहने के लिए खाना खा लिया कि जिंदा रहे That is abstemious. Abstinence important word. Abstinence means intentionally by taking the ownership somebody is giving up the physical pleasure. Abstinence. Suppose as a student. you have decided that for next 10 days i will not see useless things on my mobile i will not waste my time here and there i will not watch idiotic stuff on my mobile or tablet or laptop so you are giving up certain pleasure that is physical pleasure it means abstinence jaise purane samay mein rishi muni tapasya karte the to wo kya karte the ye mo maya दुनिया सब छोड़ के जंगल में जाके अकेले तपस्या करते थे क्यों बिकॉज दे आर गिविंग अप सर्टन प्लेजर आर गिविंग दिस सो एस्टिनेंस मीन्स सो इट इज लिटिल एक्सट्रीम आई हैव गिवन यू द एग्जाम्पल दैट एज अ स्टूडेंट यू हैव टू गिव अप वॉचिंग योर मोबाइल एंड यूजलेस स्टफ बट दैट इज नॉट एस्टिनेंस एस्टिनेंस मीन्स इट इज लिटिल एक्सट्रीम टूवर्ड्स द एक्सट्रीम साइड यू आर गिविंग अप सर्टन फिजिकल प्लेजर दैट इज एस्टिनेंस yeah it is some extreme form of self control very good ravi abysmal very important seven stars abysmal very bad something bad is happening you cannot say abysmal abysmal means nothing can be bad than that is the worst situation that is called abysmal okay are you getting this good afternoon priyash so abysmal you can note down in your notebook very important and very frequently asked in various examination abysmal adamant now if you have a small sibling a small brother a small sister if you have a small kid in your house you will see they are making tantrums you understand tantrums
you understand ten terms a small kid asking his or her father or mother or parents that i want this i want this so a small kid they don't have that much understanding so they try to push their demands on the parents that is called as tantrums same thing every time tantrums and that is why parents get irritated but adamant is a more mature form of tantrum adamant is a more mature form of tantrum tantrum means suppose a kid is asking his or her father i want aeroplane toy aeroplane toy the father can make him fool by giving a little bit of chocolate so tantrum will stop but if somebody is adamant it means whatever you do they are not going to compromise on it hindi mein keh sakte ho jiddi are you getting this so adamant is a more mature form of tantrums is it clear अरे सुन लो यार नखरे एडमोनिश इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड सेवन स्टार एडमोनिश इज अनोनिम फॉर रिप्रीमांड रिप्रीमांड मीन्स टू कॉशन और टू स्कोल्ड डांट लगा देना बच्चों को डांट लगाई जाती है ना किसी को डांटना रिप्रीमांड रिप्रीमांड करना रिप्रीमांड करने का मतलब भी होता है स्कोल्ड स्कोल्ड मींस टू रिप्रीमांड और यू कैन से डांट देना किसी ने कुछ गलती करी उसको डांट दिया बच्चे ने कुछ जिद करी उसको डांट दिया सो एडमोनिश इज अ सिनोनिम एडमोनिश कॉशन रिप्रीमांड स्कोल्ड देर आर सम मोर टर्म्स ऑल्सो रिलेटेड सो एडमोनिश इज समथिंग विच कैन बी आज इन योर एग्जामिनेशन alacrity alacrity means cheerful willingness eagerness when i was about to start this session i saw that around 10 12 students they were waiting for the session so that is that is a situation of alacrity nobody has forced you to come to the session but willingly you are cheerful you are eager eager to attend the session i am just giving you one example so that is alacrity for you <clears throat> now see it's up to you how you make silly logic to remember these words okay now alacrity you can relate it to some event in your life some event where you were feeling happy and just associate this word with that situation why i'm saying so see because our brain functioning is very interesting more information it is given more uh, importance by the brain yes or no if somebody is driving at a speed of 200 or 100 plus then there is a separate path for them but there is no separate path for those who are driving at 50 or 60 understood this is how your brain functions so if you have more and more information about something your brain gives it a different treatment even if you want it you will not forget it so how to give more more precious information just relate this word alacrity to some event in your life where you felt happy eagerness allure you can connect this word i am just taking name but don't go in that way that i am a fan of somebody just it is by it is in public notion and people understand it easily that is why i am saying the power to entice by charm for example the recent movie pathan lot of controversy is there but we are not interested in controversy and we are just trying to understand what is the meaning of word allure allure means the power to entice by charm now there is nothing new in the movie is the old wine in the new bottle but still it is a charm in people's mind about mr shahrukh khan that he has this capability to allure the audience the power to entice by charm are you getting this you must have seen some people are having some aura with their personality 
everything is okay but suddenly when they enter in the, in the situation everybody feels energetic are you getting this so allure and if this is the person who has the ability to allure the others now these are the other people Now these people, when they are allured by this person, allured means completely surrender, khatam. Agar aapki personality mein wo baat hai ki aap kisi ko listen, listen, listen. Aap kisi ko bilkul surrender kar sakte ho. Then it is allure. Antecedent. Antecedent is a very formal word. Okay. The literal meaning is something that comes first. But antecedent in terms, in other terms, it is known as when you go for an interview. So your certificates are also called as antecedents. Okay. Fan means if somebody is my fan. It means he used to know me sometime earlier. Already he knows me. He or she knows me. Allure means any stranger, when he is coming in front of me, he is going to surrender. Completely surrender. That is the kind of personality if somebody is having, then we use allure. So antecedents are used for certificates also when you go for an interview. The HR is all going to ask you show me your antecedents it means he or she wants your certificates but literal meaning of antecedent means something that comes first apprise another a formal word whenever you are writing the application so you are writing the statement this is to inform you now this is to inform you is little imposition if you are writing this letter to a senior person, then it is not going to be good. Okay, then appraisal form is different, Mr. Ravi. Okay, that appraisal is different. This is apprise. Apprise means to inform. For example, in the application you are writing, Hi, sir. This is to apprise you. Dot, dot, dot. So instead of saying, this is to inform you. It is better you use. This is to apprise you. Arduous. Now, arduous means very strong hard work. Very laborious. When the place is out of the place, then it is arduous. Are you getting this? Arduous. Extremely difficult. Laborious. Assiduous. Important, this is important. Seven stars diligent, hard working. So, assiduous is important. Note down in your notebook. Assiduous, avarice, greed. This is also important. Seven stars, avarice, greed. Now, greed may be in Various degrees, various intensity, but avarice means <clears throat> a very strong feeling of greed. High degree of greed is avarice. If you are driven by the, uh, you can say, idea of avarice, then you can go to any extent to achieve whatever you want. Even if it is harmful for others. Okay. Bacchanalian. Bacchanalian. Now this is going to be important for you. Jaysay aapne dekha hoga ki jo nightlife hoti hai drinking karte hai log dance karte hai badiya gaane baste hai musti karte hai तो वो जो माहौल है ठीक है उस माहौल को हम कह रहे हैं बैकनेलियन सो बैकनेलियन इज एन एटमॉस्फेयर व्हिच इज लाइवली नॉइजी 
filled with lot of bad activities that is bacchanalian are you getting this so whenever you are in this kind of situation you can say it's bacchanalian atmosphere mohal means atmosphere banal banal means ordinary something which is not important something which is a imitation not original are you getting this so banal is going to be important ordinary not original imitation of something bain you remember boon or bain boon means good blessings bain means uh, what we should say it it's a torment you can say in hindi we say shrap de dena kisi ko so bain is poison torment cause of great distress and annoyance bastion <clears throat> bastion is very very important my dear friend bastion means a strong hold fortress okay now you see a situation suppose there is a war like situation between two states and one state is dominating one state is looking weak but there is one person one army in that state who is not ready to lose so that person will be called the bastion bastion means somebody who is not willing to lose or to accept defeat are you getting this and this is what you should follow in the gate examination there will be four five moments in the examination three hours when you will feel that you have lost the exam it happens with everybody it's not that you are something special four to five times within three hours you will feel that you have lost it and that is the time when you remember this word bastion you are the bastion of your own destiny are you getting this there is one more meaning of bastion so you see in earlier times people used to make fort like this yes or no purane samay mein aise hi to kile bante the to aisa ek gummad banta tha some tower like situation is like this and this is circular i am fine i am fine mayur so this is called bastion bastion means a strong hold from here they can attack in all possible directions anybody belong to the old city anybody belong to the old old city any small city old city you must have seen that in the heart of the city suppose in my city lucknow if i give you the example or in delhi there is chandni chowk you see the there are some roads which are very narrow have you seen that hindi mein isko gali kehte hain patli patli galiyan hain साइकिल से भी चलोगे तो ये दो हाथ लड़ जाएंगे हैव यू सीन दिस वेरी वेरी स्मॉल नैरो पैसेजेस इन द हार्ट ऑफ द सिटी दैट वाज अ ट्रिक एक्चुअली सपोज इफ समबडी इज गोइंग टू अटैक एंड समबडी इज हैविंग वन लैक सोल्जर्स बट इफ द वन और टू पीपल कैन एंटर एट अ टाइम सो ऑन द अदर साइड दे कैन बी इजिली किल्ड इधर से चाकू लेके बैठ गए आर गेटिंग दिस एवरीबडी इज गेटिंग दैट सो दैट इज कॉल्ड बेस्टियन ओके दिस फोर्टेस इज कॉल्ड बेस्टियन बिगेट 
Bigot is generally used to give birth to. Okay. Uh, to create, to lead, to cause. So basically, it is used for biological son or daughter. Okay. To beget. If somebody is blessed with a boy or girl, then you can say uh, he or she begets a child. Are you getting that? Be labor to go over repeatedly. To repeat something with lot of effort, lot of labor. So be labor. Okay. Belligerent. This is important. Seven stars. Hostile, aggressive. You must have seen there are some people who are always in a bad taste, bad mood. Even if you tell them something good, something which is uh, positive, still they are going to be completely aggressive. Hostile means uh, opposite thought. Okay, they are always going to oppose you, suppress you, dominate you. That type of people, they are called belligerent. And it has very high intensity. Otherwise, you can use aggressive also. You can use hostile also. Yes or no? Yes? When you do a lot of party with your friends and you come late, around 2 or 3 in the night in your home, and you see the lights are on, your father is holding some weapon in the hand, mother is holding another weapon in the hand. So the moment you enter, you say it is a hostile environment. And it is belligerent. Are you getting this? Everybody? Benevolent. Seven stars. Beni is a root word which means good. Two Hitlers in the house. You remember that. That is great. Beni is a root word which means good. So you can see n number of words started with Beni. So they all are going to be positive words. Good words. So benevolent means somebody who is very generous, kind, doing good deeds. Benign. Benign means gentle, not harmful. Okay. So whenever you meet somebody for the first time. Yes, Raghu. When you meet somebody for the first time, you should always be benign. Benign means gentle. Okay. And this is important. So I told you, wherever you find this root word, benign, uh, B-E-N-E, -E, benign, beni. Always the meaning is going to be related to something good. Blasphemy. Blasphemy means to say bad things about somebody publicly. Irreverence. If you reverse something, it means you worship them. For example, I river my parents. It means I worship my parents. Irreverence means so not to have that kind of respect with somebody, to, towards somebody. It means you have disrespect in your mind towards somebody. That is irreverence. Profanity. Profanity means to say bad words towards somebody publicly. Kisi ko samaj mein badnaam kar dena, profanity, blasphemy. Are you getting this? Blith, carefree, cheerful. Blith means you see a person, oh, there is a shairi, 
लेट मी जस्ट रिमेम्बर दैट आराम बड़ी चीज है मुंह ढक के सोइए किस किस को याद कीजिए किस किस को रोइए वट इज ईर्षा रघु नो ब्लैसफेमी डज नॉट मीन ईर्षा ब्लैसफेमी मीन्स पब्लिकली यू आर अनाउंसिंग सेंग बैड थिंग्स अबाउट समबडी टू डिफेम समबडी पब्लिकली एक तो ये नाम चेंज कर लो क्रोकोडाइल कुछ ऐसे देश है क्रोकोडाइल खाया जाता है वहां पर वहां घूमने जाओगे कोई खा जाएगा तुम्हें ठीक है इंसान का नाम रख लो ब्लैस फेमी इन रेफरेंस प्रोफेनिटी ब्लिथ यू विल सी देर आर पीपल हु आर नॉट एफेक्टेड बाई द एनवायरमेंट एंड दे आर इन देर ओन लाइफ दे आर सेट Carefree, cheerful. Bovine. Bovine is a term which includes lot of words, which is which are related to cow. Something which is related to cow, cow like. So there is a class of अरे मैं मजाक कर रहा हूँ यार अच्छा है crocodile. I love crocodile. Okay, take it easily. Very interesting name. So what I was saying, yes, bovine. A woman, a woman's bovine figure made her unnoticed in the party. So bovine means cow-like. So you compare cow-like with lion-like. So everybody see towards the lion, but few people see towards the cow. Cow means you are not having that much temperament, attitude, or projection of your personality. You are suppressed, peaceful, calm. कहीं बैठे हैं कोने में बढ़िया आराम से आराम चल रहा है. Cow like. Are you getting? Burgeon. This is important. It means expand or flourish. For example, the burgeoning city population made the city borders uncertain. So, burgeoning means expanding with a great speed. With a great speed, flourishing, expanding with a great speed. So, it is burgeoning. Burlesque. Burlesque is eleven star. Sorry, it is eleven star important. Multiplied by eleven. Burlesque, you can say, in terms of a piece of art, it can be said it is a very poor imitation of something. Okay. So you can understand it some in terms of some art form. Suppose a painting is there, so somebody is trying to make a painting like Picasso. But who can make? No, uh, Mr. Croc. This burgeoning is not the right word to be used with business. Business is strategically expanded. Please try to understand what I am saying. The wrong usage is going to make you fool in front of others. business is something which is not expanding on its own you make a strategy and then you extend it whereas burgeoning means you don't have a control over it various government came and gone they tried to stop the population but you cannot stop it so it has a negative connotation burgeoning you cannot use for positive things you cannot say my business is burgeoning okay so you can say your business is expanding or flourishing in various cities various states but burgeoning means something which has a very little control over it That is why he is using it for the population. The burgeoning city population made the city borders uncertain. 
Anyways, burlesque, you, you understand? An absurd imitation of something or someone, especially in literary or dramatic way. His latest art piece is a burlesque. Cacophony. Now, there are a lot of words which are quite similar in terms of their pronunciation or way they are spoken in Hindi language and English language. For example, uh, what you call crow in Hindi, kawa. So, kawa and cacophony, this sounds little similar. So, you can understand, kao, 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 cacophony, harsh noise, unbearable. The cacophony of modern transport is unbearable. Are you getting this? Kajol. Now, this is not that Shahrukh Khan Wali Kajol. This is Kajol. Kajol means to persuade someone to do something. Okay? Are you getting that? Kajol. So, you can relate it. People use Kajal. Why? To attract other people. So, Kajol means to persuade someone to do something. So, next time, your small brothers and sisters, they are not doing something. So, you use this word with them. Cajole them. The manager cajoled the worker to resign. This is important. Can be asked in your examination. Cajole. No, 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 no. Mr. Crow could die. Always you are making the wrong usage of the word. It's not to deceive. Cajole means when you persuade somebody, you don't deceive them. Are you getting this? It's like you motivate them. You tell them logic that you have to do this. It's a, it's a positive word. It's not a negative word. Generally in positive terms. Or you can say not exactly positive because not exactly positive, but you see it's not deceiving. Okay, It's not deceiving not to trick somebody. It's based on logic. Are you getting Mr. Crocodile? Okay. So, manager cajoled the worker to resign. Callow. Callow means immature. Okay, this is important word. The customers, sorry, the customer was Shocked by the callousness of his staff in the shop. It means, it means they are not mature enough. Okay, so callow. Whenever you see a person who is not mature, use this word callow. What a callow personality. Candor. Candor means candid. Sincerely honest. It means frank. As it is, without any superficial things. That is candor. Candid. Okay. Capitulate means to surrender, to give up or give in. There is another word which is called as recapitulate. Okay. Now very recently I went to my daughter's school for the parents teacher meeting. There was a teacher. So every time he used to bring difficult, difficult words. Listen, Mr. Crow. So uh, recapitulate means to revise. Or you can say to summarize. And she was not aware that I have little good command over vocabulary or what. So every time she is, she is saying recapitulation, recapitulation. So I very humbly asked her, what is the meaning of it? Because in every sentence he, she is using recapitulation. So I asked her, what is this recapitulation? So anyways, so if you are not confident about any word, don't use it. Because the person who is sitting in front of you may be knowing that.
Are you getting this? Capitulate, to surrender, to give up or give in. Recapitulate means to summarize. Once you complete the chapter, after that, if you get, uh, give a summary. So it is recapitulation. Capricious, very important word. Capricious. Capricious means very unpredictable. Very unpredictable behavior. Capricious. Saying something, doing something, looking something. Everything is different, different, different. Nobody can predict you. Are you getting this? Capricious, unpredictable. Very important word. Can be asked in your examination. Castigate. Castigate is another synonym for reprimand. Chastise. To criticize severely. But when you castigate, the degree is very high. Okay? It's high in degree. Castigate means to criticize somebody very severely. Okay? So please remember this. Castigate can be asked. Whenever I give seven star, I'll say it is important word. It may come in your examination. Categorical. Categorical means something which is very clear without any superficial things. Absolute. Unconditional. If you love somebody, categorical. So you don't have a precondition. Generally, people love with lot of conditions. There is an old song also. Koi shart hoti nahi pyaar mein, magar pyaar sharto pe tum nahi kiya. So something which is unconditional, that is categorical. <coughs> Aray bhai saab, pehle class khatam to honne do. Cross the bridge when you reach the bridge. If you start jumping before, you will fall. Okay. You will be getting the PDF in my personal Telegram channel that is Electrical by Ashutosh Taksena. Castigate means to criticize severely. For example, you can say The principal castigated the student having unfair means in the examination hall. Are you getting this? So, categorical you understand. Censure. Censure also means to criticize or condemn severely. Yes, you can say like that. Now, the C, listen the pronunciation for this word. Very important. Don't pronounce it wrong. It's chagrin. It's C H A is sh chagrin. Chagrin means humiliation, embarrassment, disappointment. This is important for your notebook. I started building my vocabulary when I was in class 11th. And that time I used to have a diary, and that diary is still with me, green cover diary. And I was literally mad. I was not having it because that time we have very less deviations. No mobile, TV and radio, everything was very limited. So I was very fond of dictionary. So that Oxford dictionary, I used to keep it like that. And important words which looks good to me, I used to write them in my notebook. The reason I am saying you please maintain this notebook that will help you to utilize this time in a better way. So understood? Chagrin. Charisma. Charisma is a quality, is a personality trait and it is something 
because of which people associate god like characteristics to someone okay bhagat ban jate hain for example gandhi ji gandhi ji was a charismatic personality are you getting this it's like aura and there are charismatic leaders also people say that they have supernatural powers they themselves are not saying that they have supernatural power people associate for example whenever gandhi ji used to fast and to that <clears throat> yes yes apj abdul kalam okay he is also he was also a charismatic listen 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 so whenever gandhi ji used to fast and to that there used to be drought there used to be flood like situation so lot of crops used to get destroyed so people were thinking that gandhi ji has some connection with the god when he is hungry there are lot of uh, bad weather situations bad seasons for the agriculture charlatan now charlatan is a word which you, which you should never forget you can use it for your friends because it is used for a fraud or a quack you will see there are people who are not doctors and they are sitting on the road side claiming that they have magical remedies for different diseases like that so you understand that baharupia in hindi we call it baharupia charlatan to pretend to be somebody when you are not an original person so that is charlatan chastise the similar word to punish to discipline reprimand castigate scold similar words listen listen chikendri okay uh i think it should be shikendri yeah shikendri not shikendri shikendri is the correct pronunciation is shikendri now shikendri is an attitude where there is deceitfulness trickery oh my oh my goodness sorry should i delete no it is okay i understood your point understood your point thank you so much for your insightfulness i will not write anything on this otherwise while you revise na then it becomes a little difficult the person is saying right thing why you have deleted it it's okay so shikendri means to trick somebody to make somebody fool okay and uh, in hindi you can say act of dhoke baji is shikendri okay shimera shimera is illusion this is important word c h i m e r a shimera shimera means illusion <coughs> you understood you understand what is illusion yes choleric choleric means a person who is very bad tempered without any reason they lose their temper so that type of people they are called as choleric yes illusion means something which is not real choleric doctor the doctor is a choleric man with a good special specialization 
So this sentence means the doctor is good. He is a very good doctor, but he is a choleric, very bad tempered, very easily he or she can lose the temper. Chronic. Chronic means something which is continuing for a long period of time. For example, a chronic disease. Or you can say chronic problem. A problem which persists for a long period of time, that is chronic. Or a disease which persists for a long period of time. Circumlocution. Circumlocution means going loop and loop and loop and not coming to the direct point. That is indirect expression. Yes, chronic diabetes. It means from a very long period of time. Clandestine. Very important word. 21 stars I will give. Clandestine means. No, 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 no. MBS. COVID is not chronic. Listen, listen. A chronic disease is a disease which happens to be persisting for a long period of time. Okay. If, if, if one individual only is having a disease for a long period of time, it is going to be a chronic disease. It is not that people in mass are going to be affected with that. Then we have two words, endemic and pandemic. Endemic means it is a disease which can spread, but it is limited to a certain geography. Okay, as you see that there are a lot of endemic diseases in Africa. But they are limited to Africa only. They are not spreading to other parts of the world. But when it is pandemic, now pandemic means a disease which spreads very fast across the borders. So COVID was a pandemic. Are you getting that? COVID is not chronic, you can say. Chronic is a, any disease which persists for a long period of time. That is chronic disease. Endemic, which is also spreading, but it is limited in a geographical boundary. Pandemic, beyond the boundary. So understood the circumlocution. Circumlocution is going round and round and round, not coming to the point. Clandestine, secret or concealed. If you do something uh, secretly, then it is clandestine. Okay. He won the match by clandestine techniques. In Hindi, uh, clandestine is not just, uh, you can say, gupt. Clandestine means <coughs> very strategically when you do something secretly. Okay. I hope you are getting this. Condon means to ignore or to... Avoid something, okay? Somebody is, uh, is saying something bad about you. No, you condemn them. You condemn them means you ignore them. If a single word is given, how to know whether it is adjective, adverb or not? The way it is given and how you are going to use it. Conjecture, this is also important. Conjecture means to talk about the possibilities, to guess, to infer, something which is not directly inferred, but it indirectly. Conjecture, to make guess about something, that is conjecture. Construe, now this is important word. Now suppose... This is you and this is your friend. Okay. So 
whatever you say, you don't know how the other person is going to construe it. Construe it means how it is going to be framed in their mind to interpret. Are you getting this? So, construe is an important word. You can use it in your day-to-day -day life. Contrite. Contrite means admitting guilt to accept what is your fault. Okay. There is one more word. Let me check it. Just a moment. Okay, that word is not exactly related to this, but a word came to my mind that is conscription. C O N S C O N S C R I P T I O N conscription. Now, this is interesting word that is why I am telling you can be asked. Suppose there is a country facing the war situation. So when there is a war situation in a country, na, so emergency is established. Economic, political emergency is there. And every family has to send one family member for the war. Okay, this rule, this principle is called or this process is called conscription. When a war-like situation Are you getting? Yes, like what is happening in Ukraine. It is a compulsory enrollment for the service in country's armed forces when there is a war-like situation. That is called as conscription. This is contrite, admitting guilt, accepting fault. Covet. Covet means <clears throat> uh, the ability to attract followers and inspire loyalty. It means people are going to become bhagat very easily. Okay. Then there is a word coveted. Most sought after. Coveted means most sought, sought after. You miss the words after construe. Okay. Construe means to interpret. Then contrite. Contrite means to accept what is your fault, what is your guilt. Then a new word I am giving you, conscription. Conscription means to get... Uh, compulsory enrollment in the country's armed forces in case of a war-like situation. So, every family has to send one member in the war. Is it clear, everybody? So, these are the words which uh, I have framed. Now, I have more words. So, now, uh, those words I have not in the PPT, but I will be writing and explaining them. So you tell me now we should go further or this much is okay for you. Tell me. You want me to go further? Okay. Just a moment. Just give me one moment, okay?
वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स सो सम मोर वर्ड्स अप टू सी आई थिंक वी हैव डन ना लास्ट वर्ड वी हैव डन इज कवेट just a moment what is the problem why you are fighting in the comment section okay only i can decide you don't decide you just sit comfortably so i think after to see i have given you important uh, words now there is one more word here coveted means something which is most sought after okay you are fighting about gate ad oh sorry you are talking about gate admit card okay no problem so nobody will give you gate admit card only iit website can give you gate admit card anyways mm -hmm. listen now understand most coveted thing what is that for example you for example you see a wrist watch very costly wrist wrist watch in somebody's hand now you also want that type of watch it is not in your budget but you want it so it is a most coveted thing for you most sought after game over ye kya bhai suno ye kya khel rahe ho tum log comment section mein पढ़ना है तो पढ़ो भाई नहीं पढ़ना है तो मेरे पास भी फिर मैं और मुद्दे हैं मेरे पास ये मैं पढ़ाता नहीं हूँ इंग्लिश इंग्लिश ये सब तुम लोग की ऐसे पढ़ा रहा हूँ तुम लोग अच्छा शांति से ना देर इज वन मोर वर्ड इट इज कबेटस सीओ वी टी ओ यू एस कबेटस कबेटस is a desire to get something owned by others you have seen a very brand branded wrist watch in somebody's hand you want it so that watch is the most coveted is is the coveted thing for you most sought after and you are being covetous desire to get something which is owned by others okay the next word is craven craven is an act of coward cowardly you understood cowardly the opposite of bravery okay the opposite of bravery next word is debauchery i hope you are able to see the spelling yes you can say darpok rolex watch perfect example yes craven means covert debauchery debauchery means involved in an act of corruption so this is something important this is important word debauchery important seven stars something for your notebook debauchery okay next word from d is denizen denizen means inhabitant 
okay so like you have citizen now citizen is going to be a formal member of or you can say a country having certain privileges and rights so on the other side the informal word is denizen denizen is a you can say a person who is very regular to a place okay that is called as denizen then we have deride 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 means to mock somebody make fun of somebody okay in front of others especially it is denizen n not r denizen d e n i z e n okay when you deride somebody you intentionally mock somebody you make uh, fun of somebody laugh at somebody okay when you deride them mazak bana okay then we have desultory d desultory d e s u l t o r y desultory means something which is random in nature something which is rambling okay not in a definite path random rambling that is desultory desultory you can use uh, as a behavior if somebody is acting randomly not in a proper way in front of others then you can say it's a form of desultory <laughs> then we have diatribe very important word diatribe diatribe means verbal attack and that is bitter desultory you are not going to use in terms of exam like situation it is something like somebody is drunk in somebody is drunk and he is coming to a public place and making nuances so you can say his or her behavior is desultory okay diatribe is a verbal attack which is very bitter so you will not understand it right now but once you are selected and after you get married so after your marriage you will understand the real meaning of diatribe okay so wait for that situation <clears throat> disparage this disparage d i s p a r a g e disparage means to be little something it's okay so okay, listen to be little means you are saying something about somebody or some event to reduce their value that is the meaning of be little to reduce somebody's or something's value is to disparage them okay just a moment because i cannot see all the words so i have to see which are important ones then we have dupe dupe also means to trick or deceive somebody or someone to 
D E C E I V E. Okay. Yes, it's not just uh, uh, misinterpreting or avoiding something. It's about intentionally disparage. I'm saying it's intentionally reducing somebody, somebody or something's value to belittle somebody. Dupe means to trick or deceive. Then we have eclectic. E C L E C T I C eclectic. Eclectic means having various sources. If something is eclectic, it means it has various sources. So friends, one thing let me tell you, it's 125, we'll be going up to two only. And let us see how much words we can complete because we cannot go like this. And because I'm not happy with the numbers also. Okay. If it would have been 260 students, then I would go up to four or five also. Okay, but understood that how much important it is for you. And accordingly, I have to manage because your time is important. I can do it up to five also, no problem, but your time is important. So eclectic means something which is having various sources. Elicit. Elicit behavior. Elicit means to provoke somebody. Then we have Emulate. Now, emulate word has a very distinct meaning and you have to understand it. There are two words. Simulate and emulate. What is the difference? Suppose you want to learn how to drive the cycle. Yes or no? Yes? Then you can... Simulate the situation of how to ride a bicycle and you can play that game. Yes or no? So you, you may be given a training to, uh, uh, to teach you how to ride the cycle. Yes or no? Similarly, if you want to learn how to drive the <clears throat> aeroplane, then same situation can be managed and training can be given to you how to drive an aeroplane. But emulate means not to, not to just imitate. Emulate means you put yourself in others' position and then you feel what others are feeling. <clears throat> are you getting this? So emulate is more real. Hello? When you simulate, then you imitate. But when you emulate, you put yourself in other situation and then you feel what happened to them. So emulate is more correct when you are dealing with human beings. Are you getting this? And simulate when, when you are dealing with the machines. Are you getting the difference between... Yes. Okay. Then we have uh, equivocate. First, you understand emulate to put yourself in others' position. That is to emulate. Then we have equivocate.
equivocate means intentionally vague language vague language means which is not meaningful which is not needed so equivocal means somebody who speaks too much mudde ki baat ho rahi ki nahi ho rahi hai bas apne mein lage hue that is equivocal equivocate अभी मैंने आपको बताया था एग्जाम से बिल्कुल नहीं डरना है पहले हिंदी में बोल देता हूँ फिर इंग्लिश में भी बोलूंगा एग्जाम से बिल्कुल नहीं डरना है ठीक है ये एग्जाम में वो जो तीन घंटे का टाइम है उसमें चार से पांच बार आपको ऐसी फीलिंग आएगी कि यू हैव लॉस्ट इट सब खत्म हो चुका है अब आप नहीं कर सकते जो आप सोच रहे थे अंडर हंड्रेड अंडर टू हंड्रेड रैंक आए अब आपको समझ में आ गया कि भैया हजार भी नहीं आ रही गड़बड़ हो गया मामला कठिन पेपर आया ऐसा आपको लगेगा चार से पांच बार और जब ऐसा लगे तब अपने अंदर ये चीज बिठा लेना कि नहीं अभी भी मैं वापस जीत सकता हूं या जीत सकती हूं अभी भी तुम इसको क्रैक कर सकते हो उससे ऊपर उठ के बस तुमको आना है देखो डर देखो बात समझो डरना कोई बुरी बात नहीं है डर सबको लगता है कोई बोले मुझे तो डर ही नहीं लगता उसके सामने जरा सो रहा हो उसके जरा बेड में कमरे में ये जरा शेर छोड़ दो देखो डर लगता है कि नहीं लगता है डर सबको लगता है बट डर लगने के बाद तुम क्या कर रहे हो वो डिफाइन करता है कि तुम जीतोगे कि हारोगे अब कोई क्या होगा वो डर के ऐसे उसने चादर उड़ी और सो गया तो वो सोता रहा और जिसने डर को आंखें दिखाई उससे लड़ा संघर्ष किया वो जीत गया इतना ही सा तो अंतर है आंखें बंद होना और आंखें खुली होना बस इतना ही अंतर है डर लग रहा है लेकिन आंखें खुली हैं तो तुम जीत जाओगे और तुमने डर के मारे आंखें बंद कर ली फिर खेल खत्म हो गया फिर तो वो तुमको डोमिनेट कर जाएगा अरे अब कभी बाद में बात करेंगे कल ही मैंने सपने में दो शेर देखे मैं एक ऐसी जगह पर था वहां पर दो दरवाजे थे एक डोर इधर था एक डोर इधर था तो मैंने देखा इधर से दो शेर आ रहे हैं तो मैं जल्दी से दरवाजा बंद कर लिया और एक कोई पर्सन था वो दूसरे दरवाजे पे खड़ा था अब मैं उससे बोल रहा हूँ भैया दरवाजा बंद करो दरवाजा उसने बंद ही नहीं किया और शेर आ गया बैर खान शेर देख के चला गया दरवाजे से ये नहीं कि मुझसे डर के चला गया उसको लगा हुआ कि यार वैसे ही कमजोर आदमी इसको क्या खाएं सच में बिल्कुल सच में बोल रहा हूं ऑनेस्टली कल मैंने रात में ये सपना देखा एनीवे डोंट गेट पर्सनल सो इक्की वोकल आफ्टर दिस वी हैव इजोटेरिक इजोटेरिक Esoteric is something which is uh, not public, which is known to only a few. Okay, something which is difficult to understand. हाँ तो पूछा नहीं ना उसने डाउट फिर ना पूछे चला गया और दुखी था वो शेर मैं टेंशन में आ गया उसकी आंखों में आंसू आंसू थे अब मैं सुबह उठ गया सात बजे मैं सोच रहा हूँ कि कौन सा सपना मैंने देख लिया क्या मतलब है इसका चलो काम की बात करते हैं इजोटेरिक यू गॉट द पॉइंट इजोटेरिक समथिंग विच इज नॉट Uh, public which is not available to all which is known to only a few difficult to understand okay next word is eulogy 
Again, I'm giving you a root word that is you. Any term which starts with you, it has a positive meaning, eulogy. For example, eulogy, euphoria, euphemism. Are you getting this? So eulogy means to praise someone. Okay. Yeah, if you appre appreciate somebody, then next word is exacerbate. Exacerbate. E X A C E R B A T E. Exacerbate means to make worse. Okay, or to aggravate the situation. In Hindi, you can say "bad se badter banana." Jo bura tha, usko bahut bura kar dena. Exacerbate. To make something worse or to aggravate. Next word is expiate. E X P I A T. Expiate means to atone for. Atone for means pashta taap karna. Kharaab se bad se badtar karna. Exacerbate means bad se badtar karna. And expiate means to atone for. It means. Maybe I will send you. I will send you my PDF. Okay. I will send you my PDF. Rest, there are a lot of sources on internet, but right now you should not go more than that. Okay. There are going to be 2,000, 3,000 words which you cannot remember in the last time. But some very frequently, extremely, not very, extremely frequently asked in your examination that I am discussing only. Okay. Now it's expiate. Expiate means to make atonement. Something you may have done wrong in the past. And now you understand your mistake and you want to get rid of that wrongdoing so you want to atone for it atone means paschat after expiate okay next is feral Fear means existing in a wild or untamed state. Untamed means uh, somebody who cannot be regulated, whose behavior cannot be regulated. Okay, somebody whose behavior can be regulated. For example, you have an you have a pet pet animal. So that has to be tamed. When you say sit, it's going to sit. When you say stand, it is stand. When you say run, it run. Untamed means not following the instructions, not regulated at all. So feral means, yes, you can say not, yes, jungle you can say. Existing in a wild or untamed state is feral. Then we have foment. 
foment foment means to provoke or to incite or to arouse okay for example fomenting terror somebody is doing something because of which the feeling of terror is fomenting okay incited or aroused then we have fractious ha bhadkana bilkul sahi fractious f r a c t i o u s fractious fractious is somebody who is very rebellious somebody who is always fighting q u are bhai aapko nahi padhna hai to mat padho ठीक है इसका मतलब है मैं भी टाइम वेस्ट कर रहा हूँ ये बाकी बच्चे भी टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हैं क्योंकि बहुत आसान है ऐसी बातें मत करो जिससे ऐसा लगे कि मतलब आपकी सोच छोटी है डोंट से दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स यू आर कमिंग टू द पब्लिक प्लेटफॉर्म यू आर नॉट अ चाइल्ड यू आर अ ग्रोन अप मैन हु नोज वॉट इज गोइंग टू कम इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो यू कैन ओनली प्रिपेयर न this way you should not prepare for technical also because technical also may come very easy understood the point so we have to be ready we have to be prepared if it comes easy that's easy for everyone maybe suppose three four questions could come from this okay so you think three four questions are less three four questions can make or break you may be out of 200 or maybe you you are in 200 so be very objective when you if you are not interested you don't come everybody is very clever you guys are not children that i can say okay take kinder joy and attend the session it's up to you it's your mobile it's your device you check the words i'm giving you check them on internet how many times they are being asked in different examinations i can give you infinite words from a also but why to read infinite words total i think i have given you 20 30 words from a hardly 20 words from b hardly 20 words from c so you don't understand how refined content you are getting okay understand this fractious fractious is a person who is rebellious always fighting not ready to mingle not ready to be calm down somebody who is unruly unruly behavior not coming to the terms quarrel some q u a w r e l quarrel some always fighting <clears throat> okay next word g a Double R U L O U S garrulous. Now garrulous is a person who talks too much. Very talkative. Very talkative. Okay. For example, you are sitting in a class. You want to go to washroom. so you can simply ask your teacher or even if you don't ask if you are a grown up i am going to washroom okay 
Now, if somebody who is very talkative, he will build a story around it. Last night when I went to sleep, it happened, this happened, that happened, then morning this happened, and then he will say, actually I wanted to go to washroom. So the person who speaks much, too much, very talkative, that is garulas. Then we have grandiloquent. Bahut zyada baat hui. Grandiloquent. Okay. Grandiloquent means to say big, big, big words, to exaggerate something. Pompous. Or you can say, uh, exaggerate something too much. Just give me one moment. When you get a lot of problems while doing something you understand, that God is with you. God is showing you the right path. If you don't get any problem, understand the path is wrong. Yes. So grandiloquent means somebody who is very uh, pompous about something. Pompous means intentionally increasing the value of something. Okay. Then you have gregarious, gregarious, G-R-E-G-A-R-I-O-U-S. Gregarious is a person who is very fun-loving, party-loving. Okay, so you can be a gregarious person. You are going to an interview and they are asking, tell us something about yourself. So you can say, I am a gregarious person. Gregarious means to fun-loving party, party people. Very fond of. Mixing with others in parties, etc. Socialize, socializing with others. Okay. Next is gullible. Next is gullible. G U L L I. B L E. Gullible means <coughs> somebody who can be easily deceived or tricked. Jisko asani se bekuf. Socialite is it's not socialite. It's socializing. Socializing means to interact with others. Fond of mixing with others, doing the parties. That kind of person is called as gregarious. I was just joking, so don't say it in the interview that you are a gregarious person, otherwise he will throw you out of the, not, not out of the door, out of the window. Okay. Gullible is a person who can be easily tricked. That, that person is called gullible. Gullible means somebody who is easily deceived. Yes. Then we have harrowing, 
एच ए डबल आर ओ डब्ल्यू आई एन जी हेरोइंग मीन्स समथिंग विच इज टेरिफाइंग समथिंग विच इज एक्सट्रीमली डिस्ट्रेसिंग extremely distressing terrifying okay then the next word is in coet in c h o a t e in coet in coet is uh, something which is imperfectly formed or formulated imperfectly formed or formulated ओके, सो कुर्सी की पेटी बांध दीजिए मौसम बिगड़ने वाला है इनकोइट इज गोइंग टू बी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर यू नोट दिस इन डोलेंट नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज इन डोलेंट इन डोलेंट इज अ पर्सन हु इज intentionally habitually he is he or she is very lazy idle not doing anything simply lying on the bed eating again lying you want the previous slide once take the previous slide okay who is habitually lazy the next word we have is insinuate 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 means to imply something to say indirectly next is insipid insipid is something which is not having a good taste something which is tasteless okay or dull for example when you see a painting and you say the colors are insipid it means the colors are weak they are not perfect indolent is a person who is akarmand isko kuch karna hi nahi hai next inundate next word is inundate listen listen inundate i n u n d a t e inundate means <clears throat> suppose there is a flood like situation and the roads are completely uh, filled with the water then you say the roads are inundated okay completely covered with water overwhelming completely covered with water the other suggestive meaning is overwhelming 
सपोज इंस्टेड ऑफ फिफ्टी पीपल आई हैव फाइव लैक्स पीपल लाइव इन द क्लास सो आई वुड से दिस सेशन हैज बीन इनडेटेड बाई द स्टूडेंट्स अटेंडेंस आर यू एडिंग दैट देन then we have next what is lassitude 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 l a s s i t u d lassitude again means someone who is lethargic lethargic means somebody who is very lazy okay idle so lethargic or sluggish you will see there are people who don't want to do work but when the mother or father parents are saying something then forcefully they will do but they will intentionally do it in the worst possible way very slowly they are doing the work the people become irritated and say bhaiya tum chhod do hum kar lenge sluggish slow speed very slow speed lethargic lazy lassitude okay next is limpid l i m p i d limpid limpid means something which is crystal clear or transparent okay then next one we have is mendicant important word for your notebook may come in the examination mendicant means a beggar so next time ठीक है भाई ठीक है लिम्पिट लिम्पिट समझ गया मैं मेंडी कैंट यू कैन यूज बट नेक्स्ट टाइम व्हेन यू सी अ पर्सन आस्किंग मनी एट द क्रॉस रोड यू से यू से पीपल सी मेंडी कैंट पीपल से मेंडी कैंट देन यू से मेंडी कैंट इज बेगर सो पीपल विल से ओ ही नोस वेल अबाउट इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ओके देन वी हैव मेटिकुलस M E T I C U L U O U S, meticulous. Meticulous means somebody who is very careful or sincere. Okay, somebody who very strictly follow the discipline, the timetable, meticulously. Okay. <clears throat> Next word is obviate obviate okay obviate obviate means to anticipate
to anticipate for something means to obviate to give opinion about something to give opinion okay no 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 it's not about Bhaiya, it's not about mutho jana. Obviate means to give your opinion, to anticipate that this is going to happen, this may happen. Talk about possibility. Okay? Next is ostentatious, ostentatious, sorry, O-S-T-E-N-T-A-T-I-O-U-S, ostentatious, ostentatious means somebody who who is pretending to be bigger? <clears throat> okay. Jeb mein nahi daane, amma chali chene bolane. Jeb mein das rupee nahi hai. Pane rado ki ghadi. Challe Mercedes the. Ostentatious, badi badi baatein karna. To pomp about something. Are paglu obviate means to anticipate, to give opinion about something. Suppose you observe something, then you say, okay, next this may happen. So you are obviating, you are giving your opinion, you are anticipating. Ostentatious is not just showy, it is on a bigger scale ostentatious. I am saying na, Rado watch, Mercedes, don't have money in the pocket, ostentatious. Somebody who is, who pretends to be rich and shows off. Okay, posh. Okay. So I will give you a break for five minutes. Then again, we are going to connect. Okay. Maybe five to eight minutes. And then we are, let us complete it. Okay. Better in this session only because I think there are not too many words. Already we are on O up to O we have completed. So more than half we have completed. So let us give after this half an hour more. And then we will finish whatever words we have to finish. So just wait for five to eight minutes will connect again and stay connected don't leave the session
So guys, welcome back. So we have done up to ostentatious. Ostentatious means somebody who shows off too much, pretends to be very rich. Okay, that kind of people. We are saying they are ostentatious. So you can use this word to your friends and you may get this in the examination also. Next word is onerous. O-N-E-R-O-U-S. Onerous means burdensome. There is one more word which is related to this that is onus. Onus means responsibility. For example, <clears throat> something wrong is happened. Happened. Some something wrong wrong has happened. So you are saying the onus of the onus means responsibility of this lies with you. Onus means responsibility. Sometimes people try to get rid of the onus. People don't want to take the responsibility. They always try to put the onus on others shoulder. Okay, so onus is also one important word. Next word we have is overweening. Over W double E N I N G overweening O V E R W double E N I N G overweening means somebody who is very arrogant in behavior. No, you should not say like this, Mr. Croc. You should say the owners to win. The final cricket match lies in Virat's hand. Okay, that should be the correct usage. It is better you keep on doing this. I am not discouraging you. What you are doing is good because until and unless you use a word in the statement, it is not going to be helpful for you. You will not remember it. That is good, but you have to work on your usage, word usage. So overweening is a person who is who is very sorry is arrogant arrogant or presumptuous P R E S U M P T O U S presumptuous presumptuous is a person sorry Prism, let me correct the spelling. Prism, T U O U S. It's T U O U S. Presumptuous is a person who is very arrogant. Then we have, then we have Paragon. Then we have Paragon. Then we have Paragon. Paragon means excellence. Excellence. Perfection. Okay. Next word is penury. Penury. P E N U R Y. Penury means extreme poverty. Extreme poverty. Other word is destitution. Na ghar hai, na thikana hai, na khana hai, na pina hai. Extreme poverty. Okay. That is penury. Next is perfidious, P-E-R-F-I-D-I-O-U-S. Perfidious is a person who cannot be trusted. 
who is disloyal who is faithless who is not trustworthy who is not trustworthy next word is perturb per turb perturb means to disturb something to such an extent that it is completely disoriented <clears throat> vishwaghat is the action vishwasghat is the action here perfidious means the person who is disloyal who cannot be trusted who is not trustworthy okay vishwasghat is the action of somebody so that you understand that this person is not loyal this person cannot be trusted perturb means to disturb something to such an extent that it is completely disoriented okay to completely disorient something okay or to make something anxious next word is petulant p e t u l a n t petulant petulant means peevish peevish means very arrogant and rude behavior arrogant and rude behavior r u d e arrogant that is petulant <clears throat> placate placate means to pacify someone somebody is quite disturbed suppose some movement is going on some movement some protest is going on farmers are sitting for the protest against the farmers bill now ministers are going to placate them to make them satisfied to keep them calm okay so placate means to pacify or soothe or satisfy are you getting this tasalli dena no you cannot keep it next to the exam hall rather you can ask the gate uh, organizing committee that better that exam can be conducted in your home itself okay that is possible you just write one application next is precarious next word is precarious precarious is a situation which is very uncertain situation and it is used with a negative connotation okay suppose may god forbid right now you see the joshi math joshi math situation so you can use the word precarious for that kind of situation you can say the current situation in joshi math is precarious it is highly uncertain anything bad may happen any time highly uncertain 
anything very bad may happen. So you say it's a precarious, precarious. Okay. <clears throat> Can you have pristine? P R I S T I N E. Pristine. Pristine means something which is highly pure, uncorrupted, unpolluted. Okay. So when you visit a village, you say it's a pristine environment. It is not polluted. Okay. Which is uncorrupted. Unpolluted. Very pure. Absolute. Pristine is not divine. And your spelling for divine is wrong. It should be D I V I N E, Vaishnavi. Understand? Pristine is not divine. Divine is something which is related to God. Okay, which is beyond human beings. Are you getting that? Pristine means something which is so original, so pure, so absolute, which is uncorrupted, unpolluted. Okay. Next is proliferate. Next word is proliferate. Proliferate means to increase rapidly. So you see uh, something bad news is there and that news is spreading very fast. So you say the news proliferates across the nation. Okay, to increase very rapidly is proliferation. Then one word you can use on your best friends, that is pusillanimous. P-U-S-I-L-L-A-N-I-M-O-U-S. Pusillanimous, okay. Pusillanimous, that means coward. Opposite of bravery. <clears throat> no, there may be a pristine area in Delhi also. It's not always about the uh, pollution. Maybe there is a place where people are not used to go. So it remains intact. Suppose there is an old temple which is not no improvisation is done. It is intact. How it was built thousands of years ago, it is intact. If it is there in the Delhi, that is also pristine. Pristine means something which is not disturbed, which is pure, absolute. Understand? The opposite of bravery is coward. Pusillanimous. Very difficult pronunciation. Then we have ramification listen here listen here you follow what i say ramification ramification means implication or consequence for example you say the consequence of this is this so you say the ramifications when you say ramifications it becomes very formal okay
then you have uh, recondite very important term recondite recondite means something which is profound large in number is spreading over a wide range profound abstruse a b s t r u s e abstruse okay that is recondite then we have recent r e s c i n d recent means to cancel reticent next word is reticent reticent is important <clears throat> Reticent is a person who speaks very less. He is not interested in talking too much. Okay, it is a kind of person who is introvert. So an introvert person is reticent. Okay. Reticent means not, uh, you can say, somebody who is very reserved. Reluctant. Or introvert okay then we have next word is salubrious s a l u b r i o u s salubrious No, no, Vaishnavi, listen. You don't put your own words here. The words I'm giving you, please follow that. Reticent is a person who is not modest. Reticent is a person who is not interested in talking to you. Okay. Modest means a person who follows the middle path. Okay. So you see, there are people, you go and talk to them. They're not, talk, they're not interested in talking to you. Even if they are not doing anything. Okay. So reticent is a person who is introvert. Salubrious. Salubrious means something which is healthful. Okay. Next word is satiate. S A T I A T E. Satiate means to satisfy. For example, satiating the hunger. To satisfy the hunger. Okay. Next is Sor did S O R D I D Sordid. Sordid means something which is filthy. Filthy means which is not good. Okay. Dirty. Something which is corrupt, okay, which is not uh, healthy to follow or healthy to observe. That is sordid, okay. Specious, S P E C I O U S, specious. Yes, you can say ginona. There is a correct word here. Specious means something which pretends 
टू बी लॉजिकल और राइट बट नॉट एक्चुअली इट इज सो दैट इज स्पीशियस which seems to be correct which seems to be logical but actually it is not so that is specious okay <clears throat> then we have next word spend thrift spend thrift is a person who spends recklessly it means spends a lot spend a thrift next is sundry s u n d r y sundry means various numerous okay next word is supplant s u d b l p l a n t supplant means to replace something with something okay complete replacement to substitute or replace completely that is supplant okay next is tacit tacit means using very less words okay suppose somebody is asking you this that this that this that, this, that, this and you are saying okay if your answer is just okay it means you are being tacit okay using very less words this tacit tacit remark and the person who does that that is called as taciturn this is the person the person who behave in this manner using very less words that is taciturn and this practice this process is tacit being a tacit remark using very less words to answer <clears throat> okay then we have zealot or zealotry zealot is a person who is fanatically fanatically devoted to a cause you understand the word fanatic fanatic is the word which is used for those people who don't have an ideology it means they do they don't themselves understand anything they themselves don't have any ideology but just because of some wrong information they can be easily made andhbhaks so andhbhaks is the correct name for fanatics okay people who believe on mythology not in the science they are fanatic so that type of people are zealot so this is all from my side friends so as for my understanding i have tried to give you as many words that may be possible in this session one session and that may be helpful for you
So thank you so much for joining me live in the discussion. I hope you enjoyed the session. The PDF for this session I'm going to be uploading on electrical by Ashutosh Dakshina. So if you are interested, you can join it. Tele my personal telegram channel on Baiju's exam prep. So I will be providing the PDF on this. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Ravi, Brock. Very great name and the, and the picture is also very good. It's green. And uh, Raghu, Bayash, all the people, all the people who were live with me. Thank you so much once again. Take care. Thank you, everybody. Best wishes. See you again. Uh, one more information. One more information before you leave. So tonight, 9 p.m. in the evening, me and Rakesh Taleja, sir, okay, we are going to be coming live on Instagram. Instagram Ashutosh Saxena, that is me and Rakesh Talreja sir. We both are coming live on Instagram 9 p.m. In the channel, the link is given. There is no surprise, simply we'll be coming to give you some insight about Gate 2023. It's more about a chit chat show that. In the most informal way, we'll be talking about that, how you can better channelize your potential in the examination because uh, too much formalism generally does not produce the result. So it's going to be a mix of Hindi and English and it's going to be quite entertaining session which will relax your brain, relax your mind maximum half an hour. So it's going to be quite useful for you. So do not forget to attend this 9 p.m. on Instagram and uh, the link is given in the uh, YouTube channel by this example that you can follow. Okay. So this is all from my side, friends. Thank you so much for joining me live in the discussion. This last one important information before I leave. That is about the gate and engineering services test series. Just one more minute. There is gate and EAC test series where you get unlimited access to the full length mocks and the subject twice test. The link is given in the description that you can follow. The important features are 60 plus test covering gate and EAC, detailed mock analysis, virtual scientific calculator. This all is curated by gate experts, all India open mocks and 4,000 plus practice questions. So subscribe to Baiju's exam prep, hit the like button, hit the bell icon. Thank you so much, everybody. Take care. Best wishes. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.